Now in part C, we're asked to find d2y by dx squared. Well, first of all, uh, let's just copy back then that since dy dx equals, where was it now? We had uh, up here, I think it was on that. Okay, there it is up there. x squared e to the x, x squared e to the x plus 2x e to the x. Okay, let's just bring that back again down there. We can now find d2y by dx squared by differentiating with respect to x this expression here. So we have the product rule again, x squared e to the x. Okay, now we've already done that, okay, because that was y, if you remember, originally. And it gave us this answer. So we might as well use that again. So when I come to differentiate x squared e to the x by the product rule, I'm going to get x squared e to the x plus 2x e to the x. Okay, so that saves us a bit of uh, time. Now we come on to the second term and going to use the product rule here. I'm going to have u as being 2x and the v part as being e to the x. So I'm going to then have plus, put my u part down, that's 2x, putting that in brackets, multiply it by the differential with respect to x of e to the x, so that's e to the x, plus. Now there's my v, so I'm going to write that down, e to the x, and I multiply that by the differential with respect to x of 2x. And differential of 2x with respect to x is, oops, is 2. Okay. Now, what have we got? Okay, let's just see if we can simplify this. As for the first term, x squared e to the x, I can't see any others there, so that's going to be x squared e to the x. And then we have a 2x e to the x and another one here. So that's going to be a total of four of them. So that'd be 4x e to the x. And finally, plus 2e to the x. All right, so that's the value of d2y by dx squared. Now for part d, determine the nature of the stationary points, okay, or the turning points, I should say, uh, for the curve C. All we've got to do is test the value that we get for d2y by dx squared when we substitute the x-coordinates of the turning points in. And so we're going to say then when x is naught, okay, d2y by dx squared, work out what its value is going to be. Well, clearly when we put naught in here, we get naught. Naught for this one. And 2e to the power naught is going to be just simply then 2e to the naught, which is 2, because e to the naught is 1. And this is a positive value. It's greater than 0. So that's telling us that when x is naught, okay, remember y was naught as well, when x is naught, that we have a minimum point, minimum turning point at this particular, uh, for this particular value. So, okay, therefore, okay, naught, naught, okay, is a, we often say, is a local minimum. Okay, so it's always a min when d2y by dx squared is greater than zero. What I'll do is I'll do this again. We'll just draw a line down here. We'll just say again, when this time x equals minus two, as we had up here, when x equals minus two, we have d squared y by dx squared equals, so we have minus two squared, that's going to be 4 times e to the minus 2. 
and then 4 times minus 2, that's minus 8. So we're going to have minus 8 e to the power minus 2. And lastly, plus 2 e to the minus 2. So plus 2 e to the minus 2. So when x equals minus 2, our other turning point, we see that d2y by dx squared equals, so subbing minus 2 into here, we get minus 2 all squared, which is 4, 4e to the minus 2, so I'll put that in, 4e to the minus 2, and then 4 times minus 2, that's minus 8, e to the minus 2, so we have minus 8, e to the minus 2, and then plus 2 e to the minus 2. So plus 2 e to the minus 2. If we simplify this, we've got 4 e to the minus 2, minus another 8 of them, so that's minus 4, plus 2, that's minus 2 e to the minus 2. Okay. Now, e to any power is a positive quantity. Multiply it by negative 2, that's going to be a negative value. We shouldn't really have to use the calculator to check that that's a negative number. I mean, if you do, fair enough. But as I say, e to the power minus 2, 1 over e squared if you like, always positive. Multiplied by minus 2, going to be negative. And so what does that tell us? It tells us that because this is less than 0, a negative number, that the point minus 2, 4e to the minus 2, okay, is a local maximum. So we have minus 2, 4e to the power minus 2 is a local maximum. Okay, and that brings us now to the end of this question number 3.